like around six they're up and sweeping they're either washing or they're even doing something but it hello welcome to my channel once again once again see there is this wise lady that i shared her video previously my previous video she is basically sharing her experience living in ghana and some of the culture shocks that she's experiencing in ghana she's saying she cannot sleep she can't sleep she actually made two videos separate videos talking about she can't sleep one has to do with funerals around her area and the other has to do with her neighbors just going about their daily chores that they do in a typical ghanaian setting but you know i want us to watch these videos then we come back and we address everything that she said in these videos hello and good morning this is so true, you cannot sleep in in Ghana. Hear this noise, there's a funeral. Yesterday night, they started to play music at 2 a.m. A.m. And this has been ongoing. Hmm. Can somebody explain this to me? What's up with Ghanaians not sleeping in and not respecting that some people, they need to sleep? I'm sick right now. Every single morning, my neighbor is either washing, shouting, or talking with her neighbors. It's like, please, lady, I'm trying to sleep. I'm sick. Like, I want to sleep longer than six, seven o'clock. Um, anyway, this is every single morning, and I work also, so normally I don't have that much of a problem with it because I have to wake up anyway. But it's they're either sweeping very early in the morning, like around six, they're up and sweeping. They're either washing or they're even doing something, but it's always with noise. Like, hello, do you realize you have neighbors also? <laughs> <coughs> anyway, <coughs> are there Ghanaians who sleep in that are like, don't wake me up before nine or ten? Oh, and before people say this to me, no, I have not talked to her or the other neighbors because it's, I said my neighbor, but it's multiple neighbors. Um, because I, I don't know, this is a cultural thing. I cannot stop her from doing the laundry in the morning. I cannot stop her from sweeping or doing things like this is something she needs to get done. So I can understand that something, but the thing that I don't like is that sometimes her children are running around and she's shouting and she's screaming or she's like talking so loud like this is something i can ask from her but i feel also it's kind of not something i can be asking i don't know let me know please if you're a Ghanaian, if this is something i can address to her or not really because you know in the netherlands it's in the morning and then late in the evening out of respect you will always think of well most people i don't know not all people but most people will think, okay, this is going to make a lot of noise. Let me not do it because of my neighbors, right? It was always like, okay, let me be uh, respectful to my neighbors, not play loud music, not start to have loud conversations outside or whatever. It's not everywhere like that, but how I grew up, it's always thinking of your neighbors and like respecting their time also. So if it's too early in the morning, I have one time I needed to get a lot of things done. I wanted to... Um, use a high power pressure water machine for my tiles outside and it was like seven eight in the morning um during a weekend day and i was like no i can't because my neighbors will wake up from it so i waited until like 10 before i started doing that which that is out of respect to my neighbors but i don't know i feel Part of the answer I know already, I think Ghanaians don't care because they can sleep through that because they, they don't, they are not bothered by it probably. But then I do wonder like, do Ghanaians think of neighbors or is this something that's not in their mind to just, this like, we can just do it how we do it. It's like maybe something they have never thought of. So I'm also curious to hear um, from you if you're a Ghanaian, um, what do you think about this? So listening to her clearly it seems like many of the things that she's experienced is new to her and it's understandable because she comes from holland the netherlands that's where she's from she's in ghana she has spent about five months in ghana and still counting 
she is actually experiencing the real African or the real Ghanaian setting or culture because it seems like she did not stay in these East Legons and some of these estates and all these other places. She stayed in the typical Ghanaian setting. And definitely you are going to experience some of these things. People will have funeral, funeral that they will have in your area. We hire sound systems, tents. The funeral starts from Friday to Sunday. That is how Ghanaians are. I don't know, prior coming to Ghana, if she made her research and she saw how Ghanaians do their funerals, it is something that is normal here in Ghana. So they have a saying that if your neighbor has a funeral, you too, being in the same neighborhood, also you have a funeral because you cannot sleep. All you can do is just move from your house if they are doing wake keeping because they normally do wake keeping. And that is what I think she was talking about. Playing music around 2 a.m. That is wake keeping. They play music very loud. So all you have to do is just go there and also do mourn with them. And in the other video, she was talking about her neighbors waking up and sweeping and the children will be running around and they will be shouting. That is a typical Ghanaian setting or African setting. It is normal. She is asking if she can go to her neighbor and tell her to keep quiet. That one, they can keep quiet, agree and keep quiet for a minute for you. But let an hour or two just pass by. It is something that is with them. They cannot stop. They've lived with it for a very long time. It's a cultural thing. So hardly will you go ask them to stop maybe shouting and whatever. Maybe within that particular moment, they will stop for you. But I'm telling you, it will come back again. Because they are not used to just keeping quiet. They are not living in an estate. Estates has rules. Like the way abroad or the Netherlands, for instance, in your neighborhood, someone cannot be disturbing you. Your neighbor cannot be so... And that is even an offense. But here, it is totally different. So I think you are experiencing the, the typical African setting and you decided to stay in the actual African neighborhood or that particular area, you see? So all these things that you are experiencing, it's a normal thing. We are used to it and this is Ghana and this is how we do our things. So I don't know. All you have to do is just endure. If you speak to some of them and they agree, fine. If they don't agree to, then you cannot sleep. Because that is going to be the thing for you for a very long time. You cannot sleep. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hello and good morning. This is so true. You cannot sleep in in Ghana. Hear this noise. There's a funeral. Yesterday night, they started to play music at 2 a.m. A.m. And this has been ongoing.